Hey everyone, I'm Prince B. Today we've got another Funko Pop figure. Uh, this time I got Miku. Uh, I actually picked her up the same day I picked up, same day I picked up all those amiibo for Wave Five B. Uh, she was still there, and I figured I'd pick her up since she was the only one there, and I wanted to get her anyway. I did mention that there were only three Vocaloid figures, but I wasn't completely sure of that. I was. Uh, I looked it up later and it turns out that there was one more, they just didn't put her on the box for whatever, and that's Luca. Uh, they didn't have her there so I didn't get her obviously, but we're getting, we've got Miku and we're gonna open her up and do a quick little uh, review of her too. So let's open her up, oh, sorry Len. Len is, I mentioned it in the other one, Len's really finicky about standing up. He doesn't like to stand up. He's kind of top heavy, but uh, I, I, I haven't figured out a solution to that, but uh, there we go. Here's Miku out of the box. I will say that's something I really like about the Funko Pops is uh, they, they, they're really easy to open and take in and out of the packaging. Like you can totally save that package and just put it back in. Uh, unlike an amiibo where if you want to open that you have to either use an exacto knife and be really careful or just tear the thing open and ruin the packaging. Let's get her out. Come on Miku. Oh there we go. Oh <laughs> apparently her hair is part of her support here. Let me get this down. So here she is. She uses her hair as a support stand, which is actually really cool, uh, considering Len, and even Rin can be a little finicky. She's dropped off my shelf a few times, uh, but I feel like there's less worry about that with Miku because she's got four, four things sticking her to the ground, uh, and again, really faithful to the character design, uh, Still not super wild about the the style of the figure, but that's more of just like a personal thing. That it by all means, it's not a bad design or anything. Just kind of personal. Uh, also, uh, they've even got her little her floating hair scrunchy futuristic things. Uh, but in her official art, they actually float. And the way they angled it, it kind of reflects that it's not actually touching the her uh, twin tails. It's just, uh, it looks like it's floating from far back. Uh, so that's good attention to detail. Overall, a uh, really cool figure. And I'm glad to add her to my uh, almost completed Vocaloid collection. I guess I gotta find a Luca now sometime. Uh, not a super high priority though. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time, and hopefully I'll have figured out a way to get Len to stay in place. He's, he's in, he's in that rebellious age, uh, doesn't want to, doesn't want to do what he's told. Still love you, Len. No, don't do that. See you all next time!